Power Lightning Protector. Does it really work? Let's check it out. So this is my 30 MP MPPT charger controller. And this is the connector box. These are connected to all the DZ items like the CCTV cameras and uh, smart home devices, few lights. So today I noticed my CCTV cameras are not working. So while checking, I noticed that the surge protector is damaged. I can show you the other side because it's, the wires are not long enough. Uh, it's very hot at the moment and there's a small burn mark as well. So I'm going to remove it and see whether it has actually been damaged. So this is a very cheap item. Uh, I got it from eBay and I got some from AliExpress as well. So I'll remove it and see whether there's a there's actually burnt for the lightning strike or the surge. So to the people who are curious to see the other items. So this earth goes to a earth rod and then it goes to the ground. So this is my battery pack for the 48 volt inverter. And the battery is for the 30 ampere charger controller is underneath this. Uh, it's a 150 ampere gel battery. Can't show you at the moment because it's under these four batteries in another shelf. So another thing I forgot to show you. These are auto fuses. And uh, there's two types of fuses here. So this one, it's uh, 10 ampere, 12 volt, can go up to 14 volt. And this particular fuse, it automatically reconnects. If, the, if there's a short circuit, it will cut off and after some time, then again, it will connect. So this is a bit different. It's like a circuit breaker. This one is a 7.5 ampere, 28 volt DC fuse can be used for the car fuse as well and this has a small trigger button here if something goes wrong it will pop, up, pop out and you can just press it again and it will start working so I just wanted to show you that as well so I'll remove the surge, uh, surge rest and get back to you okay so I just got the damage part out it says lightning protector 12 volt DC and uh, a max is 10k. So, as I noticed from the outside, there's a burn mark. I'll remove it and get back. So, there's eight nails to remove, <laughs> and this is the last nail I'm removing. I might need to keep the camera somewhere. So now you can see yeah, there has been a surge, it has damaged. So these things actually works, it saved my CCTV cameras. Okay. So, there's a bridge rectifier and a gas variester. Seems like both are damaged. Anyway, the best thing is to replace this. It's not recommended to replace the parts. It's better to replace the whole thing because it's not very costly. So now we know that the cheap lightning protector is working for sure.